is heard. And that's, I think, the best thing overall. Yes, that is good news. Those landslides, very scary, but again, good news that nobody was hurt there. Um, but let's see what's going on over here with our weather. We're going to take a look ahead really quickly. So having mostly clear skies is what we're going to see. It's going to be really nice out there. And then with those clear skies is going to come that sun. Here comes the sun, sun and wind. It's going to be a little bit windy out there and we're on to warming trend. So things are getting warmer and warmer. So that's something to keep in mind. But let's take a look at our future cast to get you out the door this morning. Spoiler alert not going to be any clouds on this future cast going into the afternoon into this evening as we go into tomorrow morning it's more of the same story no clouds out there so make sure that you got your sunscreen on if you're going to be outside and this is going through tomorrow morning now let's take a look at our temperatures for today and tonight our highs and lows starting with the Santa Cruz coast might be a time to go to the beach in Santa Cruz and Capitola looking at highs in both those cities at 68 degrees and lows being at 47 degrees and as we go into the Santa Cruz Mountains regions, it's more of the same story. Looking at those highs anywhere in the lower 60s going all the way up to the mid 60s and those lows being anywhere in the mid 40s going all the way up to the upper 40s. So again, this is the day to go outside, not just today, but tomorrow and the next few days. And I'm moving on to our maps, moving on from Aptos going to Marina, looking at all those temperatures, those highs and lows, our highs are going to be anywhere in the high 60s and our lows are going to be in the mid 40s up to the higher 40s and moving a little bit more inland looking at Salinas our high is going to be 68 degrees in Salinas and our low 44 degrees so it's going to be a nice day out here and around our station and as we look a little bit more inland things are looking pretty much the same throughout of, of, across of the board and throughout with those temperatures being in the high 60s and low 40s moving along looking at the peninsula it's going to be maybe the day for you to go to the beach but if you are at the beach make sure you watch out for the wind because it will be a little bit windy with that sun but again looking at our temperatures very nice around the peninsula going to be high 60s for the most part some mid 60s there for our highs and our lows being anywhere in the higher 40s so it is the time to be outside but if you're on the beach you might need a little bit of coverage just to keep yourself warm from that wind but that sun will be helping you stay warm as well and again now we're going to look at more temperatures starting from Big Sur to Carmel Valley going into the Salinas Valley. That's where things are going to get a little bit cooler. Looking at Big Sur coats, it's going to be 61 degrees as that high and 50 degrees as that low with 65 degrees as the high in Carmel Valley and 46 degrees as that low. As we go into the Salinas Valley, things start to get a little bit cooler, but looking more of the same story. We got a low of 39 degrees in the Pinnacles and 63 degrees is that high. And as we move inland, things are going to be even cooler in those lows looking at lows all the way in the 30s 37 degrees in Parkfield and Bradley right there in 38 degrees in the San Antonio Valley for those highs or for those lows excuse me and those highs are going to be in the 60s now let's take a look at that seven day forecast for our coastal areas it's going to be really nice out there for the next week or so with that sun is going to come some wind with those temperatures all the way in the upper 60s mid 60s some of them and those lows are going to be anywhere in the 40s and for our inland areas more of the same story but even warmer temperatures it's going to be up in the 70s for those highs going into next week and those lows are going to be anywhere in the lower 40s going all the way to the upper 40s so again this next week is the time to be outside